Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. I know, I know, the the, the, the total eclipse is tomorrow, but you know, if you got these, you may want to wear them tonight, because I think we've got some of the brightest folks in the folk community tonight. Uh, good evening, I'm Ron Alesco, and yes, this is the April 2024 edition of the Greenwich Village Folk Festival, and it's going to be a wonderful evening. I'm so glad you're here with us. Uh, coming up tonight... Uh, we're going to we have a couple of new people that have uh, joined the festival for the first time. And of course, some old favorites, some folks that many of you have requested to return. Uh, we've got Jillian Matundin, and, uh, Kayla Farnham, Friction Farm, Bob Bossen, Deirdre McCalla, Joe Jenks and Walter Parks. Uh, we also had Kyle Hancharik scheduled to be part of our show tonight. But unfortunately, uh, due to an illness, he can't be here tonight. So we will get him back on in, in a future week. So. Uh, I hope you'll you'll tune in for that. Now, the Greenwich Village Folk Festival, this is a free festival. It's our gift to the community. The festival began actually back in 1987 in Greenwich Village, and it ran for many years for uh, in front of a live audience. And then it went on hiatus for a while, came back in July of 2020 during the pandemic, and we've been here every month ever since, and we hope to continue going with your help. Now, we do have a tip jar. If you're able to and help keep us going, you'll see information in the chat feature uh, where you can donate. You can find links to click on or just go to our website, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org, and you'll see the link right there, how you can donate. You can also mail us checks. We'll give you all that information later on as well. But remember that website, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org. And uh, I think you're going to uh, also enjoy all some of the other features on that website as well. Bios and links to all these performers and past performers, links to our archive. So in case you missed any of these shows, you can catch up with it. Now, let's begin our first performer of the evening. Uh, she just released her first full length album last month. It's a, it's a brilliant work. It's called Singing to the Moon, and it's gaining a lot of attention from the folk radio community. But actually, Jillian's trajectory has been on the rise over the past few years, following the release of a couple of EPs, winning 12 Mid-Atlantic Songwriting Awards, playing stages throughout the Northeast, including Rockwood Music Hall, Club Passim, Jam and Java, the Edwards Opera House, just to name a few. She was born and raised in central New York. She fell in love with classical music and began taking violin lessons at the age of three. And she'd later be trained on piano, flute, even sitar, but she self-taught on all of the other instruments that she plays, including guitar, ukulele, banjo, mandolin, string bass, and a host of other random instruments. She took a 15-year hiatus from music as her work in the labor movement became her focus, but luckily for us, she regained her muse and returned to the music community in late 2017, and she's been on the rise ever since. Tonight, she's coming to, to us from the Edwards Opera House in Edwards, New York, where the folks there have lent her the stage so she could join us. So please give a warm welcome to Jillian Matundin. Hello. I hope everybody can hear me. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ron. Um, it's good to be here at the Edwards Opera House. And um, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing the eclipse tomorrow. So, uh, okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, so this is a song off the album. It's, it was co-written by my friend Kathleen Huber. It's called All Right Tonight. Left, right, between. Waves crash beneath. One back, one wall. First you think, then you try not to fall Time slipped away Too long to wait What could you say? Will you ever stay? Let loose the tide Let go the night No need to fight, it's right, it's right it's all right tonight, baby, it's all right with me. It's all right tonight, stay here with me. Stay right here with me, won't you stay with me tonight? Oh, 
one army green and neon orange ring take as a sign the what was behind left right between bitter waves beneath into the stream it's arrived it's mine let loose the tide let go the night no need to fight it's right it's right it's all right tonight Baby, it's all right with me It's all right tonight Stay here with me Stay right here with me Won't you stay with me tonight Don't fight the pull when gravity draws in We'll find the center this time You know this can be right You know you can't deny We're right, we're right tonight Ooh. Let loose the tide let go the night No need to fight It's right, it's right It's all right tonight Baby, it's all right with me It's all right tonight Pretend you're safe with me Stay right here with me So, so that's all right tonight. I'm actually, <laughs> thank you. I'm just checking to make sure I didn't get any weird notes. Okay, so um, I released my, my debut EP in June of 2020 great time to release music. Uh, <laughs> what else did I have to do? Uh, so this one's called Hanging On. It's the title track of the EP. You say that you're stuck in this place. You say you can't see and you don't know the way. You want to believe all the lies you tell yourself You've got the answer, but keep asking for help What do you need to know that you don't already feel? So what are you gonna do? And what are you gonna say? And what are you gonna think when it all goes away? And how will you feel when it's gone? Who are you helping by hanging on, hanging on? Ooh. I wish you would breathe, I want you to know You deserve all you want, so learn you let go, you push so hard, you hope it all works out, ignore all the signs, and push away your doubt, if you just listen, you will hear what you already know, so what are you gonna do, and what are you gonna say, and what are you gonna think? When it all goes away And how will you feel When it's gone 
Who are you helping by hanging on? You're waiting for someone else to make a move. You're hoping that you won't have to choose. So what will it take for you to see? All it takes is you to be free. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna say when it's all gone? I hope that you will stop hanging on, hanging on. Ooh. All right, so. Uh, this is my last song, and um, thanks so much for having me. I'm going to tune this real quick. Um, and uh, I really appreciate uh, being asked to join this incredible lineup tonight, so thank you so much for, for having me. Thanks so much for listening out there. And um, this one uh, is on the new album. Uh, it's, called, it's called Frozen, but not, not that, not like that. I always have to say that because everybody makes assumptions. So uh, this one, yeah, this is Frozen. I see you through the cracks on your surface. The distance between dilutes the purpose. I don't know how we ended up this way. I don't know how to reach you when you hide away But you say stay It's been a long cold winter with you Disappear. The ice came early in the fall, and now I'm waiting for the thaw. If it comes at all, you're frozen in, and I can't move. Suspended in time. Stay, stay right here. Why do I be frozen? You look me in the eye, but you don't see. think you hear me when I talk, but you don't listen. The days grow longer, but I can't tell. I can't help you if you won't help yourself. It's just as well. You're frozen in, and I can't move. Suspended in time, but you say stay and stay right here. Why am I I'm frozen?
You're frozen in And I can't move Suspending time But you say stay Stay right here Why should I We're frozen Frozen Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Jillian you. Matundin. Oh, that was wonderful. And and folks out there, be sure to check out her album, Singing to the Moon. Just came out last month and it's terrific. And if you're in the New York City area, she'll be appearing at the Bitter End with uh, Jess Klein and Madeline Rogers, part of John Plath's great series, On Your Radar. It's at the Bitter End this coming Tuesday, April the 9th. You're listening and watching the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. We're coming to you on Facebook and YouTube. We're streaming the audio on folkmusicnotebook.com. And it's, it's so lovely to see this audience. Uh, we have people from around the globe joining us every month for this, this event. And uh, tonight you're getting to meet a few new faces. You're going to hear some old friends as well. And a little bit later, I'll tell you about the months to come because there are some great artists coming up on this show as well. First Sunday of every month, mark your calendars. Well, our next performer, like Jillian, uh, started with a passion for music with a classical education. Uh, in addition, she has a professional background in musical theater, coupled with a passion for fairy tales, ancient history, and storytelling. And currently, she holds the official title of Connecticut State Troubadour. She's also a winner of the Rose Garden Performing Songwriter Contest in 2019. She's a 2020 Falcon Ridge Folk Festival Grassy Hill Emerging Artist and in 2023, a Great American Song Contest finalist in the Folk Americana category. We're honored to welcome her to our virtual stage for the first time. I'm pleased to introduce Kayla Farnham. Thank you so much, Ron. And it's so great to be here. I appreciate you inviting me to be among so many wonderful songwriters. So this is a song that I wrote when I had the chance to go down to Key West to visit the Ernest Hemingway house. down from mile zero in a sun-washed fishing town Amid the tangled roots of the banyan trees where the six-toed cats abound There's a house built of native stone and pilgrim spirit's heart Sixteen feet above the sea, where Ernest's heart poured out. If you build it, they will come. It takes one part stone to pilgrim heart. Honey, you can't start nothing till the foundations laid down if you build it from the ground up the rest will come there's a clarity in paradise and this house was made to hold it Amid these coral limestone walls Excavated from the island There's something about a home that's built From the groundwork up This 
say the builder never really leaves Their spirit lingers on If you build it, they will come It takes one part stone to pilgrim heart you can start nothing till the foundation's laid down If you build it from the ground up The rest will come Last night I saw Hemingway's ghost step out on the balcony I guess once a home finds you it keeps a piece of you inside it If you build it they will come It takes one part stone to pilgrim heart Honey, you can start nothing till the foundation's laid down If you build it from the ground up If you build it from the ground up Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So this tune is inspired by the story of Little Red Riding Hood. It's got a little twist to it though. It's called My Kind of Fairy Tale. Big red coat with a basket of bread in the woods all alone. What will you do when he catches your scent? Miss Fearless and trusting and heaven sent. dark woods you gotta watch your back they'll say when he catches you that it's all your fault pretty little girls like you shouldn't walk alone and she laughs as she says to me no big bad wolf no big bad wolf is gonna get me I go where I please No big bad wolf, no big bad wolf is gonna get me That's my kind of fairy tale She don't need a savior, she's got this herself Underneath the big red coat is a little black belt. Underneath the bread and the butter and the fruit is a switchblade at the ready. And she laughs as she says to me, No big bad wolf, no big bad wolf is gonna get me. Get it.
singing No big bad wolf, no big bad wolf No big bad wolf, no big bad wolf No big bad wolf, no big bad wolf Is gonna get me I go where I please Ooh. No big bad wolf, no big bad wolf Is gonna get me That's my kind of fairy tale That's my kind of fairy tale I got some some company here. This is my buddy Grover. Uh, back in 2020, when I was live streaming every week, he would always join me. So <laughs> I guess I'll let him stay. <laughs> so um, as state troubadour, I've decided to take it upon myself to create a project inspired by trailblazers from throughout history. based out of Connecticut. So this song is the first tune in that series. It's inspired by the true story of a veteran. It's called David. David sat across from me one cold November afternoon. The look in his eye carried me to a place that he once knew Daddy left when he was four months old Hasn't seen him since then Maybe when he's older Lived in a shelter Mama worked a 15 hour day So they wouldn't take her only baby away Everywhere they moved, he was the new kid at school. The bullies and the boots, they all made sure that he knew. When Mama tried to help, it only made the matter worse. When the bruises showed up darker the next day. So David learned to smile and say, Mama, I'm okay. David was a smart kid He knew he had to do something One day he rallied up All the other bullied ones Said there's strength in numbers And together we can fight this And they did Nobody's bothered those kids since That's how David learned to fight for Justice David joined the army out of high school He taught him duty, honor, service, sacrifice He painted crimson X's on the houses Counted up the casualties Now there's things you saw that he just Closes his eyes, reliving the times he had to fight for his life. If there's nothing I can say to take the nightmares away, I'll be here on the other side to prove this life beyond 
these unbruises David sat across from me one cold November afternoon He opened up his eyes and he came to hurt when you close your eyes reliving the times you had to fight for your life if there's nothing we can do but to see each other through I'll be here on the other side to prove there's life beyond these old bruises Life beyond These old bruises So open up your eyes Cause you are home mm. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Gayla Varnum and Grover. A nice uh, appearance from Grover there, too. Uh, for our folks watching at home, uh, if you happen to be in Westerly, Rhode Island next week, you can catch Kayla. She'll be at the Knickerbocker Songwriters Night, which is next Sunday, April 14th, at the Knickerbocker Music Center. I don't think Grover will be appearing there, but who knows? Anybody can show up. Well, I'm glad all of you have shown up tonight. Uh, we still have some great music coming up. Walter Parks will be here. Joe Jenks, Deirdre McCullough, Bob Bosson, Friction Farm. And um, we were also supposed to have uh, Kyle Hancharek, but unfortunately, uh, uh, he had to cancel at the last minute. But we'll get him back on again real soon. And some So many talented songwriters out there. And we have more coming up in the months to come. Don't forget, we're here the first Sunday of the month. And it's so nice. I'm, you know, looking at the YouTube and Facebook feeds and also the number of listeners we have on Folk Music Notebook. And I see people from, from on Folk Music Notebook. We have listeners right now in Italy and the UK, all across the US. And I see so many wonderful faces on YouTube, people who are in the chat column uh, getting together. And we're here because of folks just like you. Um, this is a free concert. It's our gift to the community. But so many of you have been so generous and have donated to our tip jar. And that's what keeps us going. Uh, sometime this year, I think we're going to hit number 50 since we started. 50 different shows and some of the most amazing artists from our folk and acoustic community have been on this stage, on this virtual stage, that is. And we hope to keep going. But if you're able to help us out, please check out that tip jar or go to our website, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org. We're here because of you. Well... If you're looking for songs that uh, reflect our everyday lives by combining great storytelling, some well-thought-out social commentary, and a dash or two of humor, well, look no further than our next guest. Aidan Quinn and Christine Stay are traveling troubadours that have appeared on stages all across the country, and their work has earned them spots as Kerrville New Folk Finalist, Falcon Ridge Emerging Artist, South Florida Folk Festival Songwriter Winners, and Thursday mornings at 11 a.m., they stream live on Facebook with their weekly song and a snack, a live performance of a song, and they share some delicious-looking treats. Well, I am sure they have something tasty cooked up for us tonight. So please welcome back to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival, Friction Farm. Hi there, everybody. Hey Thanks there. for joining us in the evening for a change. Um, we are coming to you from upstate New York tonight. We are at my sister's house. And um, our, our plan had been to have a very small dinner before we, we played tonight. But my sister is a really good cook, so we failed at that. So this is what we sound like when we're full. Um, she's got a bird feeder out outside, and it's been uh, a great day watching the birds. Uh, but it's a little interesting to see who's here already at this time of winter. Okay. 
in my first warbler Yesterday Pretty yellow bird First innocent casualty Of the Indian summer wars Living room was buttoned up Windows shut Keep it nice and cool Fans and screens were all we'd need September's of my youth You may say You may say It isn't so But the birds They surely Two hundred fifty miles from the coast, branches try to bend, unprepared for hurricanes, lost a mighty oak again. You may see. centuries pretty yellow bird on the homeland of the Cherokee pretty yellow bird steady motion of the sun seasons follow one by one now there's barely spring at all a summer trip to winter without Change in prevailing winds Subtle shift Tiny butterfly Perilous migration Flowers blooming out of time You may say The birds, they surely know The birds, they surely know The birds <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. So we're going to do a couple of new ones. We are recording a brand new album, which will be out in September. I'm saying the word. It will be out in September. Maybe. No Could pressure, be. Christine. Could be. Got to start putting this into, you know, out there. Uh, it should be out in, in September. Um, and I've been thinking as we've been writing songs, I've been thinking a lot uh, about fear and what a an excellent tool that is to uh, uh, to make people do things. And I don't know what the antidote, I mean, I do know what the antidote to that is, but fear is a lot stronger sometimes than the other things. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Every drop of rain used to be a blessing. Turn things green and make them grow. Wash us clean when the rivers flow. Every drop of rain used to be a blessing. Somebody call it a deluge, says gonna wash everything away. We need dams and levees and more red tape to make them stay the same. Well, we're scared. Remember when this town used to be a haven? A friend would visit and want to stay. Front lawns where the kids would play. Remember, Remember when, when this town used, used to be a haven? Somebody said crimes on the rise. You don't know who you can trust. We need six foot fences, alarms, and locks to protect the stuff we've got. Now we're scared of water. We feel the wind. Pretty soon a sunny day will make us run inside again. Pretty soon a sunny day will make us run inside again. Say your name it used to sound exotic. Somebody said she's not like us, she's gonna make everything change. We need walls and rifles and more red tape to make things stay the same. Now we're scared. doing songs that you're in the midst of recording we've broken them down in these little bits of things that now don't necessarily hold together in my feeble brain um, i blame the mac and cheese sorry Flo. <laughs> um thank you so much for having us here we're going to do one more song what is the song that we're doing we're gonna do tyler and peggy. oh tyler and peggy uh we, we visited with aiden's uh parents and with with uh, my mom uh which uh th they are all uh, aging spectacularly, they're they're way too sharp. Their memories are way too good, uh, and that's a great thing. And I know that's a luxury that uh, not everyone has. Your 
dad drove an Oldsmobile Said he liked the way it made him feel with the top down Headed for the horizon He used to have hair the wind could catch Wore his best jacket and his tie to match the color Then a dress that I had on Tyler, can you picture us way back when? Before we knew what might have been. Take it from me, that man was cool. Can't you really want the gene pool? I see him and you now and again. I saw him in his prime His old Gretsch just keeping time Until his heart and hands brewed up a storm Hellfire meets holy water Gravity and time don't bother trying When legends begin Tyler, can you picture us way back when? Before we knew what might have been. Take it from me, that man was cool. Can't you really want the gene pool? I see him in you now and again. Yeah, I see him in you now and again. You were just learning how to walk. He was forgetting how to think and talk But at least you heard him sing and play It was the last part to slip away So I'm giving you his red guitar don't worry about how good you are, just play it, let it free your soul. Hey, Tyler, can you picture us way back when? Before we knew what might have been. Take it from me, that man was cool. Kid, you really won the gene pool. I see him in you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you all. We'll see you down the road somewhere. <laughs> and thank you, Friction Farm. Aiden Quinn and Christine Stay. Oh, that was terrific. And uh, for those of you folks down south, check out their website. They've got some tours coming up this spring and summer. They'll be in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, and probably a few other places as well. And I'm looking forward to seeing them at the uh, Southeast Regional Folk Alliance Conference next month. Surfa should be a lot of fun. They'll probably have some more artists we'll discover and, and bring to future episodes of this Greenwich Village Folk Festival. Well, if you're just joining us, don't worry. You, there's, you can catch what you missed. All of these programs are archived on our on our uh, on our YouTube page. Uh, you can also see a link at the Greenwich Village Folk Festival org website. We have every uh, every episode that we've done on the first Sunday of the month since we restarted this back in 2020. And there's also a couple of uh, clips from some of the early live festivals that took place in the 80s and 90s in, uh, in New York City in Greenwich Village. So um, you won't miss a thing. Um, now, a little over a year ago, our next performer joined us for the first time, and we're very excited to have him back. 
Uh, you might have heard of Bob Bosson when he and Marie Lynn Hammond formed the iconic Canadian folk group String Band back in 1971. And then in the late 80s, he formed, or he formulated Bosson's Home Remedy for Nuclear War. And he created kind of a modern version of the old time medicine show touring the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, as he became Dr. Bob. A fast-talking, flim-flam man, part organizer, part evangelist, part charlatan, but he believed in peace through his magical elixir that was guaranteed to prevent nuclear war or your money back. Now, his songs have been covered by Pete Seeger, Peggy Seeger, Ian Tyson, among others, and while he no longer tours, we're very pleased that we could coax him out to, to join us on our virtual stage tonight. May I present to you the one and only Bob Bosson. Large, largely part Charleston. <laughs> hey, Ron, I got an idea. I had an idea for you. Okay. Is, I, I, I decided I wanted to play this first song, which is one I wrote 33 years ago, and I wrote for my wedding. But I thought, you know, probably all of us folk singers or singer-songwriters who are married write mm. songs that we play at our weddings, and then being cheap, we record them again and one thing. But wouldn't it be interesting to, to get a whole collection and see what people sang on that uh, particular occasion? I, I think it would make a great show. Great show idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, this is what I sang 33 years ago. How do I love thee? I counted the way. Came up with a dozen and another today The way that you laugh when I think I'm funny The way that you move in the morning like honey The way that you're warm when the sheets are freezing The way you love me, that's a good reason I, I want to marry you, you want to marry me I want to mend your fuse when I'm 64 I want your cartoons on my refrigerator door I want to sit together and watch the telly Want to feel the roundness in your belly Want to make you coffee, bring you a brew Do something sweet every week or two I want to marry you, you want to marry me Take this woman to be your bride To make more or less happy Most of the time I do Do you take this man just the way he is Full of old habits and full of his love For you, if you do, then I do love your mouth and the small of your back and the things you say when you talk to the cat. I want to make love when we're in our 80s. I want to improve your taste in movies. Want to stroke your breast, rub your shoulder. Want you to rub me just a little bit lower. Want to marry you. Do you want to marry me? Do you take this woman to be your wife, to be more or less faithful the rest of your life? I do. Do you take this old hippie just the way he is, poor in graces but rich in his love? For you, if you then I do love your face asleep in the morning, love your voice low in the evening or in the night, dark and sensual. I even love you when you're premenstrual, for rich or poor, for worse or better. Let's roll up our lives and spend them together. Wanna marry you? Do you wanna marry me? Wanna marry me? Wanna marry me? Well, this.
this. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I've heard that much clapping many, many times <laughs> over the years, and more sometimes, too. Uh, I've never, these next two, I've never uh, played outside of my living room for my wife Elizabeth and the dog, so uh, we'll see how they, how they go, but I really wanted to play this one. Uh, this is a song written by great British songwriter Leon Rosselson, who many of you will know. Uh, he wrote it in 2014 when uh, Israel was bombing Gaza back then, only killed 2,000 people that time by comparison to what's going on now. And uh, But I think it's a terrific song. I have always. So I asked him if I could, uh, I said I'd like to sing it, and could I bring it up to date? And I was honored that he trusted me to do that. So for the first time ever, this uh, version of Rivka and Muhammad. I was watching the news from Gaza and I closed my eyes in despair. And when I opened my eyes again, a young girl was standing there. She said, my name is Rivka. They killed me because I'm a Jew. I died in the ghetto of Vilna in 1942. The ghetto was like a prison. They wouldn't allow us to leave. Some said they were going to kill us all. We didn't know what to believe. That day I wore my new red dress my Bobby had made for me. And in the crowded ghetto, it made me feel proud and free. I looked up at the soldier. I looked him in the eye. I forgot to bow my head down. And so I had to die. He smashed my head with his rifle because I was too bold. I was killed in the Vilna ghetto when I was seven years old. darkness a young boy's gaze met mine he said my name is Muhammad my country is Palestine I've lived all my life in Gaza and the only time I feel free is when I go down to the harbor and feel the wind from the sea that day I went with my cousins down to the beach to play and a soldier fired a shell at us and blew my life away. They think they can crush our spirit. They want us to feel afraid. Locked up in the prison of Gaza, the prison that they have made. We are not their children. Our lives mean nothing to them. I was killed on the beach in Gaza when I had just turned 10. They call us human animals, and they are the chosen race. Muhammad, my brother, said, Rivka, this world is a cold, cold place. Muhammad, my friend, my brother, let us leave this world of war. Then each took the hand of the other, and then they were seen no more. I was all alone again, back watching the evening news. And every face was a mannequin, and every word an excuse for all of the children murdered, and all of the leaders' lies, and all of the men who profit from the bullets, the bombs, and the bribes. But I will not keep silent, nor pretend I hadn't known. And all of our voices together 
have the force of water on stone. And all of our voices together have the force of water on stone. This song is also new to me. It's uh, by Pete Morton, another British songwriter, although it's uh, wandered a bit in my in my version of it because uh, I think he wrote it as a as a kind of general statement, you know, for people who feel they've lost at love and are wondering whether they can start again. But uh, I've been thinking about it in terms of the war, and and for those of us who've fought wars and worked for peace for many, many years. It's, it, it can be a very distur discouraging activity. And then I heard uh, Pete's song, and I thought, boy, that, that, uh, that, I like it. I like it for this time and this reason and how I've been feeling, and so we'll play it for you. Mm. Uh, we can't sing together because of the limits of Zoom, but it's a wonderful chorus I recommend to you. The beginning is now, it always is. You say you missed your chance, well, I don't believe you did. You say you're done, but what I'm saying. No such thing as done chorus. There's another train. There always is. The next one could be yours. Get up and climb aboard another train. You got shot down. You got knocked around. Been there, done that, not the first time in this town, and not the last round, you don't win. But you do it all again, there's another train, there always is, the next one could be yours, get up and climb aboard another train. that only break our hearts but hearts will mend and mend again listen hear that whistle in the distance there's another train there always is the next one could be yours get up and climb aboard another train There always is 
the next one could be yours. Get up and climb aboard a morning train. There always is. The next one could be yours. Get up and climb aboard another train. There always is. The next one could be yours. Get up and climb aboard another train. Bob Bosson, thank you so much. That, that, I love that Pete Morton song, and you did a beautiful job of that. Thank you so much. And I hope our, our listeners and viewers will check out Bob's website, bosson.com. There's so many interesting stories and and a, a life well-lived and an important life <laughs> in, in music and uh, teaching us how to love one another. That's what life's all about. You're watching the Greenwich Village Folk Festival, our monthly get-together. Every first Sunday of the month, we're here, and we're here thanks to folks just like you. Don't forget, we have a tip jar. This is a free concert, but, you know, in order to keep this running every month, to maintain our archives, to help the performers out, it, it, it does cost money. And, uh, you know, if you can afford to put a few bucks in, uh, we greatly appreciate it. So you'll see the information in the chat feature in both Facebook and YouTube. And you can also go to our website, Greenwich Village Folk Festival. It's all one word, Greenwich Village Folk Festival dot org. You can even mail us a check. The mailing address is in there as well. So uh, if you can help us keep going, we appreciate it. First Sunday of the month. Now, we are planning to take a little uh, vacation this summer. Um, we may do some highlights. We'll see. But we are planning some other shows. We've, we're, we've got shows all booked up for, for uh, May and June. And uh, we'll start up again in September. In October, we're going to be doing our annual Phil Oaks night. And that'll be with Sunny Oaks. And, well, more more to come. So uh, keep, keep tuned in to, to find out. Well, our next performer has long been at the forefront of the contemporary folk music community. Her very first album, called Don't Doubt It, was released by the iconic and influential Olivia Records label. And it's included in the LGBT collection at the Smithsonian Institution's Museum of American History. It's also listed by Ms. Magazine as one of the 25 classic women's music albums. And her most recent album, Endless Grace, Oh, it dominated the June 2022 folk radio charts as the number one album. It had the number one song, the number three song, and also the number 14 song. And last year at the 2023 National Women's Music Festival, she was presented with the Jane Schliessman Award for Outstanding Contributions to Women's Music. Sing Out Magazine once praised her as one of our nation's most important singer-songwriters. The Austin American Statement described her as a highly distinctive voice in a crowded field of contemporary folk music. And she's touring practically everywhere this spring, including a series of concerts in May with Joe Jenks, who we're going to be seeing a little bit later on tonight. And her tour will culminate in her first ever main stage appearance at the Kerrville Folk Festival. Uh, we're lucky that she's able to return to our virtual stage here at the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. Give a warm welcome to Deirdre McCullough. Thank you, Ron. I am very glad to be back here. I think I was last here in August of 22. I think um, in this case it just uh, come out. So welcome to my home here, coming to you from uh, just south of uh, Atlanta in Georgia. I live in a small house on the end of a quiet street. Just doing my best to take care of my family I work pretty long hours Lately I feel my age Dodging every bullet, resolute and fluid Laughing as a skirt by another close shave One foot in front of the other I have one step behind it all never stops the clock it keeps marching on marching on marching on marching on march 
vision Every day has its problems Every night has its own reward Every dawn ambles on of its own accord Joy and sorrow Born on a loving wind With simple dedication Every generation Holding it together For family and friends One foot in front of the other We are one step behind it all Time never stops the clock Just keeps marching on, marching on Marching on, marching on, marching One foot in front of the other I am one step behind it all Time never stops the clock Just keeps marching on, marching on, marching on, marching on, marching There are moments I want to throw the towel in But it would be just my luck Need it back again At the edge of the morning This coral light leads to gray The sky catches in your breath And you greet the day With the art of a trickster We her sleight of hand, steady as a heartbeat, moving down each new street, needing to believe we're part of some plan. One foot in front of the other, we are one step behind it all. Time never stops the clock, just keeps marching, no marching, no marching, no marching, no marching. One foot in front of the other, I am one step behind. Stops the clock, just keeps marching on, 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 marching I live in a small house on the end of a quiet street, marching on, marching on. Marching on, marching on, marching on. Now, I'll have you know, I think this audience is really special. I changed my strings earlier today in the first half of the uh, NCAA championship, so I got a multitask there. So I'm going to check the tuning often because they're kind of new. And that being said, I'd like to do a song of great, great social and political import. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Oh, sorry. Wrong show. <laughs> yes, I have been on social media way too much in the past week. But I do have a Jolene story. Um, when I was a, a senior in, in college, my mom, who had worked for many years for a subsidiary of American Airlines, that Sky Chef, and they had the same flight privileges. So we could fly around the country for next to nothing if we were on American and very cheaply if um, on other airlines. So my mom, as a graduation gift to me, pre-graduation really, wanted to take me somewhere that I might not be able to afford to get to in my lifetime. So my mom decided um, to take me to Kenya, to take me to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. um, and it was an amazing trip. But um, getting to Nairobi from New York was in two legs. So there was the New York to Rome and then Rome to Nairobi. And so this was 1974. And back in the day, um, because the Walkman didn't come around till 1979. You actually, people on the planes listen to the music that was on the plane, because unless you're gonna read a book or a magazine, there was nothing else to do. So you um, mm -hmm. turned on the music. And so that's what I did on this flight on the leg from New York to Rome. 
And at one point, this song came on. I had never heard the song before, never heard of the singer. The voice was amazing. The song was Jolene. And I was totally, totally captivated. You know, and I kept the, the headset on, the earbuds, whatever they called them at the time. And it came around again. So I realized, oh my God, it's on a loop. So I kept the headphones on and I timed for the next time that song was gonna appear. And I came back to the headphones then, and sure enough, so as often as I could, I, lis I listened to this new artist to me, Dolly Parton, singing this amazing song, Jolene, um, with this very unique voice. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was just blown away. The song um, had such honesty, such vulnerability to it, um, to the writing. Um, it was amazing. I had already had my first album on Roulette Records out in, in 73, mm -hmm. so I was on my way. But um, hearing Dolly Parton's Jolene was just an amazing experience to me. So fast forward to just now a couple of years ago, and I get a statement from uh, BMI, which is um, the performance rights organization that I belong to, and they pay royalties on terrestrial radio mostly, um, but they also pay royalties on um, background music and stuff. And much to my surprise, when I got the statement from BMI, two of my songs were being played on, on air, airplanes. I was like, whoa. And the, 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 one of the songs didn't, you know, I thought, okay, that was, a, that was a, you know, appropriate choice or good, good choice. It was, I do not walk this path alone. But the other song, if someone had asked me, and no one consulted me about this at all, if someone mm. had asked me, you know, what's, what, what two songs do you want? You know, that second song would not have occurred to me to be one of them. So, let me get a bit of water here. I have this, um, it puts a smile on my face to think that someone is on a flight across the Atlantic Ocean, not listening to their own phone, but actually listening to the music on the plane. And this song comes on and they're gonna go, oh my God, is she singing what I think she's singing? And they're gonna be amazed and at 35,000 feet above the Atlantic are having their own Jolene discovery moment. Tentative smiles tease from a distance We bashfully bantered most of the night The music played on as the rest of the party Faded from our sight Amaryllis, I could see it Bloom in the deep of her eyes When she touched me, I knew somehow Waited all of my life for just one night When I would know the charm of lying in the grace of someone's arms How do you know if you're flying or falling? Where does the sound of a heartbeat begin? Dazzled and dazed by the depth of a long and pouring fire through my skin. Amorous, I could see bloom in the deep of her eyes. When she touched me, I knew somehow I waited all of my life just one night when I would. Know the charm of lying in the grace of someone's arms. We are travelers yearning to be redeemed, ever searching for that moment when we are finally seen. Tracing her curves with the tip of my fingers Undone by the rhythm of each murmured sigh 
Down on my knees in joyful relief Howling at the sky Amorous, I could see Bloom in the deep of her eyes When she touched me I knew somehow I waited all of my life For just one night When I would know the charm of lying in the grace of someone's arms. Amaryllis, I could see bloom in the deep of her. Thank you. Uh, Ron mentioned the album Endless Grace. Oh, I just moved the capo. Let me check the tuning. Oh, everybody's happy. And um, I really appreciate the uh, folk world and the folk DJs, especially like Ron, um, who have embraced the album. Um, and this song on the album, actually, uh, the album was released in 2022. In 2023, this song was given um, an International Acoustic Music Award for Best Folk Roots Americana Song. And I found out, um, actually, many months later um, from the site, this, the award has been around for 19 years, and I am the first woman to ever win that category. So. Um, this tribute to the essential workers um, that we learned who they are in the pandemic um, has really stuck a nerve. Her day begins long before the dawn Food's on the table and the coffee's on Kids are dressed and headed off to school. They know mama don't play, so don't act the fool. Keys in hand, her eyes on the prize. Always working, shoulder to the wheel, stone by stone, shoulder to the wheel, stone. Shoulder to the wheel, stone by stone, stone by stone. He loves the quiet of the ring at night. He checks the GPS by the pale moonlight. Five hours in for six more to go. Miles and minutes, the truckers load. The ribbon highway stretches without end. Each inch traveled shoulder to the wheel, stone by stone, shoulder to the wheel, stone by stone, shoulder. Without fanfare or ego, it's steadfast intention go shoulder to the wheel. We have the courage, we have the will. Keep moving forward though it's all up here. The road is rocky, the road is long, but our eyes are clear and our hearts are strong. There is nothing we cannot achieve as long as we build shoulder to the wheel, stone by stone. Shoulder to the wheel, stone by stone, 
shoulder to the wheel Stone by stone, stone I'm going to do one more for you. Move the cape ball. You know, Kayla's cat came in. Uh, if you're on one of my Facebook friends, you know about my dog, Cooper. A little while ago, I had the door not completely closed. I pushed it open, but he decided to stand out there and bark until I fully opened it. So if a door suddenly appears in the frame, it's Cooper has entered the room. I mentioned my mom earlier. This is a song that I wrote um, to honor her passing. It's not on Endless Graces on the album before playing for keeps. And um, in this particular case, uh, sometimes people ask where songs come from. That's why it was written, but actually some of the um, lyrics come from conversations I had with my mom in her uh, final weeks. Walk me down to the river Let the water wash over my soul This has been a long, long journey I am finally going home I am finally going home lift my heart to the sky it's a sweet clear morning children please don't cry I've lived my life I've had my fun a new day dawns with every fading sun walk me down to the river let the water wash over my soul This has been a long, long journey I am finally going home We all have a date with time Someday you'll know yours right now This one's mine I'm at peace with no regrets I got my family around me, I am truly blessed Walk me down to the river Let the water wash over my soul This has been a long, long journey I am finally going home Going home To take my rest, going home Yes, caught up in the clearness, I'm heading for the light. Won't you please take my hand, gently steady me to the promised land in the sweet by and by. Meet again on the other side Walk me down to the river Let the water wash over my soul This has been a long, long journey I am finally going home Walk me down to the river Let the water wash over my soul this has been a long, long journey. I am finally going home. I am finally going home.
going home, going home. I think I'm ready. I know I'm ready. I'm going home. I'm walking home. See my mother. See my father. My older brother. My little dog Harley calling me home. Walking me home. Healing me home. My home to yours. Thank you, Greenwich Village Folk Festival. Thank you, Deirdre McCullough. Wow, that was just beautiful. Um, if our viewers, if you happen to be in Wisconsin this coming Friday, uh, Mequon, Wisconsin, I believe it is, uh, Deirdre will be appearing at the Wisconsin Singer Songwriter Series. And then on Saturday, April 13th, She'll be at St. Tim's Coffee House in Skokie, Illinois. And it's also going to be a simulcast on WFMT's show Folk Stage, which is also rebroadcast on Folk Music Notebook. We'll have that on, let's see, look at the calendar, April 19th on folkmusicnotebook.com. Deirdre McCullough. Check out her website. She's got more great shows coming up, including a couple of shows with Joe Jenks. And speaking of Joe Jenks, he just happens to be coming up next. Now, if you don't know Joe, I don't know where you've been. He's an internationally touring musician, award-winning songwriter, and it seems like he's always traveling, presenting music at festivals, venues, house concerts, Unitarian church services, all sorts of stages. And he shares performances of musical beauty, social consciousness, and spiritual exploration, which all relies on his conservatory music training, his Irish roots, and his working-class upbringing. Now, since January, he's toured coast to coast, including Canada. April is going to find him on the road again from Seattle to Maryland. And months ahead, uh, they're equally jam-packed. He's a 25-year veteran of the folk circuit. He's released 15 albums, including the most recent, The Coming of the Years. And he hopes to somehow find some time to record a new album this year. Oh, and oh, yes, he also hosts a monthly radio show on Folk Music Notebook. And I don't know where he finds the time to breathe, but we're grateful that he could join us tonight. Give a hand to the one and only Joe Jenks. Uh, thank you, Ron. Really appreciate that. Uh, great to be here with everybody. And um, always, always a joy to be here in the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. And uh, in honor of... In honor of the assassination of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King... The anniversary just on April 4th. This is a song that I wrote on the 50th anniversary in 2018. It's called Martin. Born in the city of Atlanta Just another preacher's kid singing in the choir This kid had a vision, reach for something higher Six years old when segregation put him in his place Started school and lost his childhood friends Questioning the order of society and faith Many deeper truths which one cannot escape Martin, oh Martin Luther King Keep holding on to what you know is true Living out the teachings, continuing to sing 
Hearts in a Martin Luther King Booker T. Washington High School was the place He began to raise his voice on poverty and race Headed off to Morehouse, a 15-year-old sage Chasing dreams of dignity beyond his youthful age Martin, oh Martin Luther King Keep speaking up for what you know is true Living out the teachings, continuing to sing Martin, oh Martin Luther King Studying the sacred word challenged him to grow He headed for Montgomery Toward a fate he could not know City buses boycotts Peaceful marches in the street A bomb thrown through a window a crown of thorns laid at his feet Albany to Birmingham St. Augustine to Selma Boston, New York City Chicago and D.C. Carrying the burden and the banner of equality to 1968, April 4th, Memphis, Tennessee. Martin, oh Martin Luther King, we will speak for what we know is true. Living out the teachings. Continuing to sing Martin, oh Martin Luther King Martin, oh Martin Luther King We will speak for what we know is true Living out your teachings Continuing to sing Martin, oh Martin Luther King Living out your teachings, continuing to sing Martin, oh Martin Luther King, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, what a pleasure to be back here at Deidre. Wow. Wonderful set, Friction Farm, great set, all the artists that were that were rolling before Bob. Yeah, just really a fantastic night of music. Privileged to be here. Well, I wrote this next song last summer uh, in response to a haiku that my dear friend Jenny Benneman sent to me. And um, it was really an invitation uh, into my truest self. And in Buddhism, there is this notion uh, of bodhicitta, that the, the broken heart and the awakened heart are one and the same, that you really can't have one without the other, um, that it is uh, an experience of suffering that leads us to awareness and an experience of awareness that leads us into some form of enlightenment, and that leads us to more awareness, which leads us into a, a deeper feeling of the suffering around us that there is a duality in this that is inescapable. And uh, when she sent me this haiku, I was really thinking about that, but I was thinking about the pressure so many people feel in this world to be everything for everybody, uh, especially uh, some of my younger friends um, that maybe haven't realized what some of us have, which is in any given day, you're probably gonna disappoint some people because there's not enough of us to go around sometimes. But there's cause for compassion inside of all of that. And so I received this as a great spiritual teaching in a way, these three lines of poetry that Jenny sent. Uh, and it spawned the song, but recently I had the privilege of singing this on a Fox News affiliate in Austin, Texas. Uh, and I finished the broadcast and a friend texted me from L.A., and said, uh, you know, thumbs up, well done. And I said, I, I wish I could have found a way to be just a little more prophetic. Uh, I had, you know, 
TV airtime in, in a big market in Texas. And he said, I don't know, you took a, you took a radio or a, rather a television station in Texas and, and you started out a song with the line, lay down your weapons, love has you surrounded. I think you did just fine. And that, that's the chorus of this song. Feel free to sing along from home or wherever you happen to be. Lay down your weapons Love has you surrounded There is no easy way out Lay down your shield Let your heart break just a little let love remove all doubt You go through the world Everybody's sweetheart Keeping up a front that wears you down But in a quiet moment The truth comes out Some days you feel like you're about to drown so lay down your weapons, love has you surrounded, there is no easy way out. Lay down your shield, let your heart break just a little, let love remove all doubt. There is no reason play this charade you can be loved for who you are and for every troubled thought that crosses your mind please know that you are someone else's shining star and lay down your weapons love has you surrounded there is no easy way out Lay down your shield Let your heart break just a little Let love remove all doubt What do you need? By what measure would you know That you are more than what you achieve? When you look in the mirror, is it possible to see that you are enough, so let it breathe? And lay down your weapons, love has you surrounded, there is no easy way out. Let your heart break just a little Let love remove all doubt Lay down your weapons Love has you surrounded There is no easy way out Lay down your shield Let your heart break just a little let love remove all doubt What do you need? By what measure would you know That you are more than what you achieve? When you look in the mirror Is it possible to see That you are enough so let it breathe and lay down your weapons Love has you surrounded There is no easy way out And lay down your shield Let your heart break just a little Let love remove all doubt Lay down your shield let your heart break just a little Let love remove all doubt hmm. 
So I'm on the road. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am on the road in upstate New York, and I'll be driving across I-90 tomorrow, hoping to catch the eclipse uh, somewhere near Buffalo, New York. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I have my, my dark out goggles uh, all set and ready to go. And, and uh, uh, everybody's telling me it's going to be insane, but Buffalo really isn't usually a destination for very many people. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to be okay cruising on the, the throughway west. But, um, you know, there's, there's a whole lot going on this year in politics, and I don't want to dive too far down that rabbit hole, but I do want to encourage everybody to stay tuned in, pay attention, vote your conscience, um, help other people to get to the polls so that they can vote their conscience. Um, it's really important that we participate or democracy falls apart. I was on tour in Ireland in the summer of 2019 when something very peculiar happened. And when I learned the whole story upon returning to the United States, it caused me to channel my inner Tom Lehrer, uh, which is interesting because I didn't know that I had an inner Tom Lehrer, but there he was, ready to co-write with me in my mind. And uh, I was grateful for that. My friend, uh, my friend in Ireland who knows that I'm from the States and uh, I'm usually mistaken for being Canadian when I'm in Ireland, which I always take as a compliment. But uh, he, he says to me, Joseph, you'd better mind the president of yours. And I said, well, what happened? He said, that man, he had the gall to call the prime minister of Denmark a nasty woman. I don't understand this nasty woman business, Joseph. Can you explain that to me? And I said, no, not really, man. Uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't make any sense to me either, but, but I'll look into it. And he says, you do that, Joseph. You get back to me straight away now. And, uh, and this was the, the outcome of that, uh, that story. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. Up in the North Atlantic, there's a place that's quite well known, though not too many visit. Even if you would call it home Subjects of the Danish crown and independent state But you can't procure a nation or just monetize their fate It's not for sale, it's not for sale You can throw a temper tantrum, you can rant and you can rave But you can't have everything you want, you're not too big to fail it's not for sale, it's not for sale. The Prime Minister of Denmark said this is quite absurd. You cannot purchase Greenland, and that's the final word. You call the woman nasty because she would not do your bidding. People all around the world say, man, is this guy kidding? It's not for sale, it's not for sale You can throw a temper tantrum, you can rant and you can rail But you can't have everything you want, you're not too big to fail It's not for sale, it's not for sale There is no fake truth, there is only fact or fiction. No bloviating blunderbuss can reconcile the friction. A tweet is not a law, and no order can be given to make a people sell to you the country that they live in. It's not for sale, it's not for sale. Throw a temper tantrum, you can rant and you can rail, but you can't have everything you want, you're not too big to fail. It's not for sale, it's not for sale, it's not for sale, it's not for sale. Try Iceland, it's not for sale, it's not for sale. I'm just going to do one more song for you. Thank you so much for the privilege of being back here on the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. 
Uh, this was such a cool thing that it rebooted right at the top of the pandemic and that it is still going four years later. Uh, so many people have had a hand in making that happen. If you want to see this music continue to stream every month uh, as a part of this series, please make a contribution to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. And thank you so much for tuning in tonight, and thanks to Ron Lesko for hosting us this evening. As Ron mentioned, Deirdre McCullough and I are doing a run of shows together in Ohio and Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin uh, coming up in May. You can check either of our websites for more information on our tour dates. In 2020, I was privileged to be involved in a grant-funded project with the uh, Archives of uh, American Folklife at the Library of Congress. And uh, I'm just diving into a bunch more research on that now. Uh, but this is a song that I lifted uh, from an old field recording done at the Rayford Prison uh, June 3rd, 4th, and 5th in 1939. And it's a song of hope and defiance. And I think those are those are good things to have with us in our hearts and in our beings this year, hope and defiance. And well, I could never understand what the people who were incarcerated at the Rayford Prison were feeling or going through in 1939. They left an immense and rich legacy in music behind them that helps us understand certain aspects of their lives and what was important to them. And clearly music was important to them and shared music, communal music, as a practice that allowed people to transcend difficult times it was evident. So I encourage you to sing along if you know this. Part of my pleasure was to resurrect some verses that had not seen the light of day since 1939. Take this hammer. <laughs> This hammer, hammer and give it to the captain. Take this hammer, hammer and give it to the captain. Take this hammer, hammer and give it to the captain. Tell them I'm gone, Lord, tell them I'm gone. And if he asked you, asked you, was I running? If he asked you, asked you, was I running? And if he asked you, asked you, was I running? Tell them I was flying, Lord, tell them I was flying. Captain, Captain, this old hammer too heavy. Captain, Captain, this old hammer too heavy. Captain, Captain, this old hammer too heavy For the likes of man, for the likes of man It must be the hammer, hammer that killed John Henry It must be the hammer, hammer that killed John Henry it must be the hammer, hammer that killed John Henry but it won't kill me, no, it won't kill me. This old hammer, hammer shines like silver. This old hammer, hammer shines like silver. This old hammer, hammer shines like silver. But it rings like gold, Lord, it rings. Lord, I'm coming to that Jordan water. Lord, I'm coming to that Jordan water. Lord, I'm coming to that Jordan water. Don't you let me drown. Don't you let me drown. Take this hammer. Hammer and give it to the captain. Take this hammer, hammer and give it to the captain. Take this hammer, hammer and give it to the captain. 
Tell them I'm gone, Lord, tell them I'm gone. Tell them I'm gone, Lord, tell them I'm gone. Tell them I'm gone, Lord, tell them I'm Thanks so much for having me back to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. What a pleasure to be here. And thanks to all the other performers making music tonight, really uplifting my soul. And thank you for uplifting our soul. Joe Jenks, what a what a great set. And um, some of our viewers, if you happen to be in Seattle next Saturday night, Joe will be performing for the Seattle Folklore Society. And oh, there's a we can hear the first song. Maybe oh. Uh, sorry, and also uh, Joe and and Deirdre, as we mentioned, will be uh, on tour in May. They're going to do some shows in Indianapolis. They'll be in Ann Arbor at the Ark, uh, Columbus, Ohio, Hinsdale, Illinois, and uh, Madison, Wisconsin. So you can catch them. Check check out Joe's website. Check out Deirdre's website. Check out our website, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org. You can find links to all the performers on tonight's show, as well as past performers. And you can find links to all of these wonderful evenings that we've shared together. Uh, the first Sunday of every month, we've been bringing you the the finest in the in the folk world, contemporary, some of the great names from the folk revival, and uh, always a surprise or two. And don't forget, we really could uh, use your help. If you're able to, our tip jar, uh, you'll find the tip jar link in the chat feature on both Facebook and YouTube. And you can also find it at our website, GreenwichVillageFolkFestival.org. There's also information on how you can mail us a check if you prefer. Um, whatever you can do to help support us and keep us going, uh, it's greatly appreciated. And we thank you. Well, um, again, as I mentioned earlier, one of our performers was unfortunately able, uh, had to drop out tonight, Kyle Hancharik, uh, due to illness. Um, we will get him back here again real soon. But now, our final performer of the evening. And he really is the embodiment of the, the deep roots and connections that I think define the finest aspects of contemporary folk music. His performance utilized the hollers, the spirituals, the Appalachian reels, the Delta blues, work songs, swamp jazz. And he brings us all into stories that are the heart and soul of his unique body of work. Judy Collins had this to say about Walter. Lyrical and political personal and otherworldly at the same time, transcendent as well as down to earth. Walter is a musical treasure, an artist of the highest caliber. To hear him is to be lifted into a mystical sphere. Well, prepare yourself to be lifted. Here is Walter Parks. Thank you, Ron. Thank you.
But you didn't take your fiddle and bow Yo 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 Didn't take your fiddle and bow Yo 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 How does that sound? We had to change a little thing right before we came on the air. Uh, can anybody just give us just a little bit of uh, messaging feedback, if that's okay? Sounds uh, great. Okay, okay, wonderful. Um, that was a song, that was, that's uh, the, the second time I played that. That's a, a real tricky thing to play. That was a song that came from the Library of Congress American Folklife Collection. It's called Holler and Joe. And that was originally recorded in 1945, around the same time, well, a little bit, a couple of years after the, the song that Joe Jenks played of, from Rayford, um, which is a state prison in Florida where I'm from. I'm not from Rayford, but I'm from Jacksonville. But anyway, around the same time, a lot of guys like the Lomaxes and so on were recording music in the South. And the guy that, I, that I've been inspired by was named Francis Harper, and he came down from... Uh, from Swarthmore College and so on, and was fascinated with life in the Okefenokee Swamp in southeast Georgia, near where I grew up. Anyway, that was an old fiddle song. So it's a real tricky thing to, to um, translate a song that was just played out in the swamp on a fiddle to guitar. And uh, from experience, I've learned that I have to retune the guitar um, to even get it close to that sort of fiddle uh, sound. So I've, uh, I'm going to make a noise here. Um, I've taken a real, um, I've got a real passion for the music was, that was made uh, way out in the woods near where I grew up. I, I didn't grow up in the swamp, but I camped out there a lot. And uh, I just got, it, it's funny what the COVID did to us. It sort of made us um, kind of look at the foundations for who we, who we are and who we who he turned out to be, you know? And uh, when I had all that time put in my lap, I thought, geez, what can I bring this world uh, until we're up and running again? What can I bring this world that's maybe unique to me? And I just, I remembered camping out there in, in the Okefenokee Swamp and seeing all this rusted machinery and all this foundations for buildings that were long gone and railroad tracks out in the middle of nowhere on the islands in the swamp. I thought if there were that many people out there, there must have been music made. And sure enough, I found a small trove of music in the Library of Congress. There were many stories told about the people who lived out of the swamp. And you might wonder, 
how do you live in the swamp anyway? There are islands in the swamp. I just got back from there two weeks ago, and I, I crossed the Okefenokee Swamp uh, in a canoe, and I camped out on one of those islands. Unfortunately, as is typical in many, uh, most all over what we now call the United States, we weren't too, we weren't too nice to the Native Americans, and there were massacres out there to move them out and so on. Uh, celebrated on all the road signs and the and the monuments and so on, and they'll get to tearing those down at some point. But um, anyway, uh, this is a song that uh, is based on a true story of slaves leaving the rice plantations in southeast Georgia. So I'm going to skip uh, my itinerary a little bit and move around. Um, it's one of my songs, uh, and uh, but it's it's based on the tale of slaves making their way to the Okefenokee for safety. You might ask, well, there's water moccasins and gators out there. Well, how could they be safe? Well, they figured if they were out there, it would be difficult to be pursued, and they would fare better than working rice uh, along the Georgia coast. And also, they could cross the the St. Mary's River where it was very narrow and uh, at certain times in the history uh, on the on the south side of the on the south bank of the saint mary's uh they were in uh, spain essentially and so um they made a deal with the people who would find them and say look we're here we're giving ourselves up and the spanish people would say uh the military people would say you got to serve in the military and show allegiance to uh, the Spanish queen and convert to Catholicism, but they figured they fared better. This is one of mine based on that true story of folks going into the Okefenokee, into uh, anonymity, into danger to find a better life for themselves. It starts with a holler, picture a slave being pursued, and he hears a white man in the, in the, in the forest hollering. Hollering is how people used to communicate out there if they were homesteading in the Okefenokee. Um, and he figures if this guy's out there hollering, he's not looking for me. So I'm going to take my chance and see if he can help me get across the St. Mary's River. And I prayed Hound dogs tracking back the road of peace They like to drown me in the Oki for no care There's a damn good bounty when a slave break free But you're gonna catch hell if you shelter Well, 
folks can't figure why a man of God would risk his deed of granted son. Or his name out looking for the same to be. He's gonna wait in the water, it'll set him free. Across the line of what a man can be. Turn a man from a channel and you clean him up nice, set him straight to battle. When the Georgia rises, don't you wonder? Sometimes I feel, thank you very much, sometimes I feel a little, hmm, in a certain way, awkward, I guess, is a, is a good word, just getting, getting applause and appreciation for this stuff. So much of this music came from human toil and so on, but, but like Joe was saying, and you know, these people, a lot of their lives were completely miscellaneous, completely under the radar, but, but the songs that they left us and the music that they left us, um, in a sense, it brings us together. Because, um, you know, who doesn't like a good melody? Who doesn't like a, a good groove? And uh, Joe was talking about some of the work songs and so on, and I do those with my group, The Unlawful Assembly. And, you know, people are just out in the audience at festivals and so on. It doesn't matter who they vote for for president. You know, they're just, they're just move into the groove and and when they hear when they just bother to take in the stories behind some of this music um i think it it kind of evens us out a little bit i'm so sick of the divisions in in the country and i'm i remember you know i i was kind of i grew up in an and turned out to be very different socio-politically than my parents but we could all talk amongst each other, each other without throwing plates and kicking each other out of the houses. And we could have a, we tried to have intellectual discussions, I guess you'd say, or, or uh, civil discussions, not so much intellectual, but, um, and I, I yearn for those days again. I learned, I yearn for people making points and I yearn, uh, uh, making, uh, impressing uh, or trying to impress upon other people their point of view. And I also yearn for the days of listening again. But, you know, we're doing that tonight. And I, I appreciate the Greenwich Village Folk Festival for encouraging listening again. Um, support them if you can. Um, I, um, I'm playing, this guitar here is Richie Havens' old 1967 Gill. Look at the, look at the, uh, Look at the traffic, the, the evidence of traffic on that. If you, could, if you could be here with me now, there's just this flat piece of guitar, and then you get right here, and it dips down. It's almost like Willie Nelson's 
uh, whatever that guitar he has, Trigger or something like that, or maybe that's Roy Rogers' horse, I don't know. But um, it, regardless, um, Richie was a, a perfect example of a man pulling from spirituals and pulling from songs of toil when he needed to, like when he sang Freedom and played Motherless Child in, in the middle of that. Um, but uh, Richie was also an example of a man who, um, who seemed to touch everybody across, across cultures, across uh, political boundaries and so on. And it was amazing to see him uh, reach people. Um, I'm going to conclude with a, a spiritual. I wasn't planning to do this one, but this is an old one um, that was, uh, it was a biblical song. And more in more modern times, a, a group, the Blind Boys of Alabama, got a hold of this. And I, I just want to share with y'all a fascination of mine. And w one of my missions, or my one of my main missions musically, is to take songs that have been done on folk instruments or traditional instruments and kind of translate them to my world. And most of the time, I do it on electric guitars and things. But for this, for this gathering i'm going acoustic but in the in the case of the next song this this was originally or in in modern days it was manifested on a in black churches with a piano on one side of the stage and a hammond b3 organ on the other side of the stage and if you're singing in the middle of that as i've had the honor to do a couple of times it's just it's it's tumultuously beautiful and what that does it puts the fear in you. I think they designed that to be to put the fear of God in you, but it, it doesn't really fear. It doesn't really scare me that way. It scares me in terms of honoring. Um, and so, when the musicianship is so pure and true, uh, you step up your game. And I think, I think that's, I think that's, you know, whatever you believe about deities and so on. I, I think that's the best we can do. Is 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 do is. We can honor our lives by trying to do the best work we can do. And that's what happens when you're around really talented people. And we've seen a lot of that tonight, and I sure appreciate this invite. But when I was singing in the middle of that choir with the Hammond B3 organ to my left and the regular piano to my right, I, I kind of said, ooh, I, I, I can't bring anything but my very best here uh, because I want to honor these folks with whom I'm singing. And, and that's, that's what we can do with this tradition is to try to uh, recreate it, I think, and give it, give it new life. I mean, the thing is, we can, we can wear suspenders and, and play it the, the metaphorically old school way, you know, the front porch way, or we can try to make it a little bit more palatable to young people. I mean, I played some of these hollers and reels, and I put a beat in it. Can y'all hear that little beat? That's a sample. I recorded that sound on a front porch, a wooden porch in the Okefenokee. And when I put that through a big PA system, and I'm just going, it sounds like electronic music. And then I'll just, you know, I'll just go. You get the idea. I'm not going to do that, but. It, people go crazy for it, but it's just folk music, you know, and I just, I just love that I'm, I love it when people just, they, they, they put their minds aside about what this is, and they just rejoice in, in, in the music, and that's what Richie Havens used to do, and that's what great folk music does for people. It just reminds us that we're human, and we're pretty much in similar predicaments. This is one that, uh, like I said, I, I was inspired to play by the Blind Boys of Alabama. Uh, this is going to be my last tune. I'm playing uh, down in south, um, the southern U.S. in May, by the way. I'm playing in Black Mountain, North Carolina, in Tallahassee, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, and at the Florida Folk Festival for the first time ever in, in spite of growing up in Jacksonville. Y'all take care. I'm Walter Parks in uh, Ron will see y'all out, but um, this is one called, oh, so let me just say this one more thing. It's, oh, geez, I'm so sorry. Um, when I translated the piano and the organ to
to guitar, it kind of sounded like a banjo, which is so odd and bizarre. But oddly enough, it still stayed in the folk realm. So check this out. It's getting, I'm moving off the screen. Uh, oh, Blind Barnabas stood on the way. Blind Barnabas stood on the way. Oh, Blind Barnabas stood on the way. There we go. Oh, Blind Barnabas stood on the way. Blind Barnabas stood on the way. Oh, Blind Barnabas stood on the way. When Barnabas heard that the law was not, he fell to his knees and began to cry and said, Sweet Jesus. He touched his eye with the palm of his hand And Barnabas saw like a natural man He said, oh Lord, son of David Oh Lord, Mary's baby Oh Lord, be the healing hand Of a blind man Oh Lord, son of David Oh Lord, Mary's baby Oh Lord, be the healing hand Of a blind man ba -ba -ba -da.
Oh. Walter, thank you so much. That, that was wonderful. You know, you really summed up what folk music's about to me, at least. And I, I'm just wondering, could, could could we indulge? Could you indulge us with an encore? I would love to. Thank you. That's, uh, that's very nice of you to ask. Let me. I'll change back to the other guitar. We have time. It's okay. We do. We're good. Okay. Wonderful. It's um. You know, that one, by the way, I'll just visit while I'm changing the guitar. That one's probably originated as a field holler, which is different from the mountain hollers that, that I tend to do, the ones that came down from Appalachia. The, the field hollers were the, you know, a lot of them were the spirituals. And that was probably a, a, a work song like Early in the Morning, one that I recorded with my group, The Unlawful Assembly. And um, so the, that was probably, oh, blind Barnabas stood on the way oh blind barnabas stood on the way and they were probably hitting a piece of rail of uh, 40 guys hitting it at the same time again the weird and and the troubling and ironically beautiful thing about it is it came from toil and yet uh, you know 100 years later if not less people are boogieing to it and coming together and and um so this is this is this next tune I wrote on the road with Richie Havens, and this one uh, I was writing when I was thinking about where I'm living right now. I was in London, and we had a couple of days off. By the way, I played with Richie Havens for ten years, and that's why I have his guitar. I I didn't segue very well into that, but um, we had a couple of days off, and I was I was thinking I was in uh, thinking about Scott Joplin. Scott Joplin, in a in a certain way, was I mean, it could be argued that, I mean, he's, everybody thinks of him as a jazz or a ragtime musician, but, you know, he was, he was an interesting bridge between what would become jazz and classical music. And he was really definitely rootsy. And he had the odd distinction of being a musician who in his life, in the early years of recorded music was famous in his own lifetime. Now I live in St. Louis, Missouri right now, and that's why I'm going on about Scott Joplin. I've always liked his music and never worked out any of those songs like the ragtime things like the sting and all that stuff, um, or the entertainer, whatever it's called. But, um, but I, I played, I, I, I sculpted a, sculpted a song in his tradition in his honor. And for years, I called this the London rag because I wrote it in London on the road with Richie Havens and Richie liked it. He, he kind of, I played it in the dressing rooms a lot. And I, I just didn't like the name of it. And then I got back to the United States and I used to drive an old beat up Ford 150 pickup truck. And I loved, there was no greater pleasure than driving that, that pickup truck in Manhattan. I lived for a while in, in New York city and I kept this multicolored hodgepodge junkyard mismatch of colors uh, running somehow in Manhattan and people would just get out of my way. They just didn't want to be seen next to this thing. And it was just wonderful. And then I was, I remember I was on the West side highway and my oil light came on and I go, Oh boy, I'm in trouble here. And I went, looked under the driver's seat for that little rag that you, you know, check your oil with. I pulled over around 72nd street and, um, and I had this epiphany. I'm going to call this song the dipstick rag. So here we go. <laughs>
Mr. Parks, thank you so much. Oh, wow. What, what a way to end, a fantastic way to end a fantastic evening of music. I want to thank Walter and, and all the great artists we, we've had tonight. Uh, Jillian Matundan, uh, Kayla Farnham, Friction Farm, Bob Bosson, Deirdre McCullough, Joe Jenks, and Walter Parks. And of course, we have some thank yous, uh, the wonderful people that put this together. Mr. Rod McDonald and Ray Mysick, and also Andrea Klosky, who does a great job on our website and so much more. And our incredible sound people, Greg Greenway and John Ziola. Thank you so much for making it possible. Yeah, give them a hand. <laughs> uh, well, we have more coming up. Uh, we will be back on May the 5th. Oh, wait a minute. Before I tell you that, I have one more thank you everyone out there who's donated to our, our tip jar tonight, who has made a donation to the Greenwich Village Folk Festival to keep us going. You folks are the reason we're here and your help makes it all possible. Uh, we You help support the artist, you help support our website, you help support our archives. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping all these videos and and music that we've been sharing will will teach future generations what, what the great Folk revival of the 19 or what are we 2020s <laughs> is, is, is happening and it's all happening here at the first Sunday of the month on the Greenwich Village Folk Festival. All right. Coming up on May the 5th, mark your calendar. We have a performance uh, artist, including Grant Livingston, Natalia Zuckerman, Deborah Silverstein, Carla Ulbrich, Chris Lowe, Greg Klima, and Christine Lavin. And we're looking at June. We've got already scheduled Michael Ronstadt, Aaron Ash Sullivan, Reggie Harris, uh, the Electric Bonsai Band, which is neither a band or electric. It's uh, an acoustic performance from Andre, uh, Andrew Ratchin of Uncle Bonsai. Also, Barnaby Bright and a guy named Greg Greenway. Uh, so that's going to be fun in June. We'll be taking a couple months off this summer. We'll be back in September, October, the annual Phil Oaks Song Night. After that, much more to come it's all because of folks like you so thank you so much for joining us tonight thank you for your support and uh i hope you have a wonderful evening have a great night great week great month and remember wherever you go make sure you carry a song in your heart take care everybody <laughs>